Welcome to Stellbot Adventures. We are on a two-week road trip through western New York. We have spent the last four days in Letchworth State Park, exploring all its beauty and relaxing under the stars at the High Banks Campground. On today's adventure, we will show you some close-up views of the biggest attractions in the park, the three major waterfalls. Located at the southernmost end of the park, the Upper Falls are 70 feet tall and are one of the most photographed sites in the park. If you walk the gorge trail southbound from the parking lot by the Glen Iris Inn, you will come across stairs that will take you to the top of the Upper Falls and by the train trestle. After visiting the Upper Falls, return to the parking lot area, but stay on the Gorge Trail. You will pass the Upper Falls Snack Bar and the Hot Air Balloon Launch before coming to the Middle Falls. The middle falls are 107 feet tall. There are two overlooks, one on top of the falls and one a short distance away on a viewing platform. The road exiting the parking lot near Glen Iris Inn also offers a great view of the middle falls. Middle falls. Pretty majestic. Last but not least is the Lower Falls, which is also 70 feet tall. This one takes a little bit of work to get to, but is worth the time and effort. We took Trail 6A, known as the Footbridge Trail, from the Lower Falls parking area. This trail takes you down and over the Genesee River to the east side of the park. Welcome to Letchworth State Park in New York, voted the number one state park in the United States. We are here 
to tell you a little bit about the park. The north section of the park is not very exciting. There's not too much going on. There is a dam up there. Um, there's a COE dam museum and everything, but is, which is on the east side of the river. Most everything else is on the west side of the river, right? Mm -hmm. You can see the dam from either side, obviously. Also up on the northern section is a pool that as long as you pay to get into the park, the pool is free. So whatever day use to get into the park or if you have the Empire Pass, you get there for free, no problem. The south end of the park is pretty much where all of the action is. There are three sets of falls. The middle falls are definitely the most um, scenic, most, scenic mo most awe-inspiring. They're the tallest. The middle falls are the tallest ones, a little bit over 100 feet. The upper falls and lower falls are still worth seeing. They're very nice areas. There's lots of hiking in the area as well. So the southern end has all of the waterfalls and lots of great views of the, um, the gorge and all of that. There are over 20 trails to choose from in the park. The trails are very nicely maintained. There, um, the most popular one is the Seven Mile Gorge Trail, which goes from the Upper Falls area about halfway up through the park. However, you do not have to do the entire seven miles at once. There are plenty of pull-offs and parking spots for you to access the trail at various points. And some of the trails are even suited for biking, but you want to have a mountain bike with you because it is gravelly or hilly and a road bike definitely wouldn't cut it. If you're looking for a list of must-dos, on our list, we would definitely check out all three of the falls, upper, middle, and lower. Like we said, the middle is definitely the most scenic, but the other two are worth seeing. There is a nice trail that goes from the upper falls up to a um, train bridge, which was nice. It is pretty, uh, there's lots of stairs and whatnot, so it's a little, yeah, I'd say moderate trail, but it was, it was a very scenic, it was a good trail. And also, at the Lower Falls, there's a CCC statue, and they tell how the CCC was here from like the early 30s into the early 40s, and they did a lot of uh, planting of trees and making of some of these cool tables that I will show you in a little while, and just organizing the park and such, which was really cool. And there is a, like I said, a statue there to commemorate that. There's a really neat uh, trail in the Lower Falls, that goes over the river. It's called the footbridge trail because you go on foot over a bridge over to the other side of the river for a little bit. It was really neat. And you can see uh, the lower falls from there. So basically, if you come to the park, you have to figure out a plan of action. So depending on if you're only visiting for a day or a couple of days, I would break the park into three different sections. So you have the upper slash middle area, which you can see from one parking lot both the upper and the middle falls and on the opposite side of the road you have a couple of smaller trails that you can see like a trout pond and a nature center for kids um, the second area would be the lower falls area which again you will see the lower falls and there's a restaurant and there's a lot more attractions over in that side as well and then the third section would be the castile entrance and in that area, you'll have things like the tea table, Wolf Creek, um, a big bend overlook. I'm going to correct that in the video later on and uh, the archery fields. So those are your three main sections that you want to dedicate a lot of time in each one. It is worth a drive to the north end of the park to see what's up there with the dam and the pool. But that doesn't really take too long, maybe 45 minutes tops. Yeah, there's other cut cutoffs over there. You can just check out the view from different areas. Once you see the view at the bottom, though, you don't necessarily need to see every single view from every single cutoff. It is possible to do the park in one day, but it's nice to do it over a couple of days just to be able to savor it a little bit and stretch it out a little. And really get the feel of the park. Yeah. We were here four days, and it was quite nice. Letchworth State Park has a carry-in, carry-out policy, which means that there are no garbage cans whatsoever in the park, except obviously in the bathroom areas. However, the... <laughs> what? What can we that look for? Um, so basically, if you're bringing in any food or snacks, you need to bring that out of the park with you as well. One other thing that's great about this park is it's very dog friendly. Mm. So you can bring your dogs on most of the trails, um, depending, of course, on your particular dog's level. We have two small guys, so on the bigger hiking trails, we have to carry them sometimes. 
Um, they're just also not allowed in any major facilities, which is typical. Yeah, no buildings and they have to be on a leash of six feet or less. The cool thing are these tables that I guess the CCC made and they're really kind of neat. They're made from uh, different stones. So they have like these two pillars underneath and a big slab on the top for these tables. This is the tea table area and it's really cool. Thank you for joining Stellbot Adventures at Letchworth State Park in New York. Please subscribe below. See, See you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. And comment below if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs>